Um, hi, and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to answer uh, this question. How many hours per week did you put into exercises? Um, so I guess there are a few different uh, ways I could answer this. The first way is, uh, you know, if this is talking about a uh, Khan Academy uh, specific exercises, like the interactive exercises on the website, you know, unfortunately, I really, uh, you know, when I was working with the Khan Academy, I mainly just watched videos. Um, you know, I did the example problems that were in the videos, uh, but I didn't really do too much of the exercises. As far as uh, hours per week that I worked on Khan Academy videos, I probably worked approximately, you know, between 15 to 20 hours, 20 hours uh, per week uh, during the time that I was, uh, uh, that I was uh, uh, going through the Khan, Khan Academy for those uh, three years that I kind of spent working uh, working on the Khan Academy. Um, and this is not to say that, you know, 15 to 20 hours that, you know, I spent 15 to 20 hours just watching videos. You know, like most of this time was, you know, watch a video until a problem is stated and then work on doing the problem by yourself and then press play again and see if, you know, see what you did right, see what you did wrong, like that, you know, it was... It was uh, uh, not. It, it was kind of uh, not so much just straight watching a video. It was much more, you know, watch a video and try to see if I could do what was being explained in those videos. So that was about you know between fifteen and twenty hours a week that I kind of worked in that fashion uh, for those three years. Um, you know, uh, uh, talking about school right now in terms of hours per week that I put into doing. Uh, exercises uh, at school. Now it's probably more like, I don't know, if I was talking about like how much I spend, how much time I spend doing homework, it's probably between, I don't know, 20 and 25 hours a week, I would imagine, hours per week. Um, maybe sometimes more depending on if there's an exam coming up or, uh, or if I'm, um, you know, working on a project or something. So, uh, uh, so anyway, let me actually label this. This would be KA vids and then this is going to be college course, college courses, uh, about 20 to 25 hours per week. Um, you know, I, I guess, um, yeah, uh, depending on how, how, uh, you know, how, um, how much work there is to be done in, in a given course, if there's a project or if there's an exam coming out, coming up, I can spend more time or I can spend, you know, less time on a given class if I have an exam in a different class. Um, one thing that I would just kind of say about this that, you know, I, uh, one of the things that I found, you know, really smart uh, peers that I've had in engineering school, uh, it seems like they don't necessarily realize that, you know, practicing stuff even if you're doing the same problem, even if you're doing the same problem that you've done before and maybe you're revisiting it after, you know, having not done that problem for a week and a half or, or something like that. Practicing stuff, even, even if it's stuff that you've done before, is still a very worthwhile uh, uh, application of your time. You know, you don't always have to do brand new problems. Or if you do a brand new problem and you get the right answer... That's not, you know, a reason why you shouldn't revisit that problem again in the future. So I, I would say that one of the things that can help you be uh, successful in college is just acknowledging that practicing works, I guess, that, uh, that uh, practicing uh, the concepts that you're learning in the classes can really help you do, uh, do uh, surprisingly well. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. See you in a future video.